this is just us exploring at the moment. We're like looking for where we might fish and we're thinking of throwing baits into these wash zones. And Nico's gone, oh, just a little speculation with a metal lure first and boom. Wow, that's quick. That's there's, quick. there's more in there, Nigel. Yeah, there's a whole yeah. little big pack of them here. It's a massive pack of them. Yes, they're off in here too. Just, I'm trying to hold him out there no, for no, you. No, you're right, you're right. See if get, you, him, get him in. I'll just, just I'd burn it back in. They all swam in with him, just right near the boat here. Yeah, go, you go that way, I'll yep. go this way. You should get one here. Sneaking in on these washes. It's pretty exciting stuff. Oh. Got him? Yeah, yeah got nice him. work. Yeah, I got him. Oh, he's going fast. Oh. Have a look at the school just coming with mine. They're all still falling around. Well, they need a little bit Better of a fish. netage. Yeah, I'm just watching this wash zone as well. Yeah, you're right. You reckon it's a net job? I think he's, well, I've got a light leader on here, so I don't want to risk it. Ooh. It's all good. I'll keep mine away. It was definitely a bit of a better fish. There's mine in the boat. Here we go, Nige. Here we go. Oh, yes. Jumping fish. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> little chunk, isn't he? He's a big chunk. He's a chunk. Nice. Oh, look at there's another fish yeah, on the ground there. I forgot about that one. I did too, sorry it's little right, mate. mate. It's alright. Yes. I'd like to say pigeon pea, but they're not really. Yours is way bigger than this one. Shows you the different sizes that in these schools hunting in those wash zones. Yeah, it certainly does. It doesn't matter, uh, you know, it's, it's not, a, not, they're not, they're not aggregated in a size class, are they, by the looks of this? It's two very different fish, but uh, they're great fun to Chunky. catch. How much fun? They go well, hard, don't they? And um, I think we need to give credit too to the old twisty. What can't you catch? If you haven't got a twisty in your tackle box, yeah. Halco twisty, you, you must one. have one. That's they it. catch everything. Jigging on the bottom to high speed spinning the washers, all right? Well, I reckon there was a big pack of them, so we get these back. It's probably some more fun to be had just I there. think so. Oh, there he is. Yep, we do. Oh, lost mine. Whoosh. Bit better one. Look at him right on that corner. <laughs> what? There he is. Oh, missed him again. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. Right in the boat. Look at him chasing it. Yeah, there's heaps of it. There's a heap in here. Yeah, there's a lot I'll of see if I can get another that, double. That wash. Yeah, off you go. I'll back you in. Bit over the top of you there. Right in that zone where you are there. There he is. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> that's more what we're chasing. There you go. That's how you do it. Oh, a little jumping fella again. That's all right. There's one. That's how you take the fight out of them, Nico. Just pull them in there. Oh, oh, I just didn't quite have enough length then. And that's the pleasures of exploring is that sometimes you just got to keep covering water to find hidden little pockets of fun. And these are so much fun. And there's stacks of them in there. They're all there for a reason. They got washed, they got food. And they'll be hanging there for a while, particularly on this high tide. And I think uh, chucking those little slugs in there is a lot of fun, isn't it? I think we should get these ones back in, probably rack a few more up while they're there feeding. Love those casts when you kind of know there's every chance you can hook a fish. As soon as you do a bit of this. Oh, there. Come on. <laughs> Missed it. I hit the paws almost every. Oh, not like that. Might every be just, time. You got it time? On the paws, every time. Especially like hop, 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 stop, bang. They're just looking for stray bait fish, aren't they? I think they can eat or attack, I suppose. Something just leaves the pack and uh, then looks wounded. I think that's where the paws comes in. It just starts falling back towards yeah, the bottom. Plays such a part. A lot of these predators, they, they're instinctive. They're honed into looking for wounded and stray bait fish. And if you can make your little look like it's on its own, it's wounded. Even if they're following it, that's, that's more what you've got to do to get the bite sometimes. Because very often fish will follow, it doesn't mean they're going to eat. If you can instigate that bite, you stand a lot more chance of hooking, putting fish in the boat. Like that one. Well done, that's a better fish too, Norge. So much fun, and Nico's hooked up again in the background. Now, we love catching fish. That's just what we're driven to do. Today's all about getting a bit of a seafood basket happening, something to eat around here. Now, these are not great eating. They're all going back. So we might have a few more minutes of fun and then it's time for us to start actually searching for something to eat. What do you reckon? I think that's a great idea, Norge. You can go. Hey, it's Taylor. Taylor. It's Taylor. Get it in, get it in. You're beauty. Speaking of stuff to eat. <laughs> they just delivered. So you want a seafood basket? I'm here to oblige, Norge. <laughs> delivered. Look delivered. at you go. Just like that. It was that simple. Yeah, another little species. It's a new species to, to the list. Well done, well done. Very often these smaller scale pelagics hang out a bit together. Taylor and salmon, they often go hand in hand, particularly when you're fishing wash zones and rocks. Mate, that's the one we want to eat. 
this one's going to go back. So you've started delivering part of the sea food basket. I'd like a few more uh, pieces of variety, I suppose you could say, to add to the basket, but you've got to start somewhere. And so he'll just be on the legal side. Just legal, we'll bleed them. They bled and chilled straight away. We've got an ice bag there, we'll bleed it, we'll put it on there, and uh, that'll taste just just fine later on. You're to work some magic for me, eh? I will do that. Oh, that's good. So you're cooking. I like, yeah, well, like this seafood basket even more. <laughs> Got him? Yeah. Well done. I ate it on the drop. It did nothing. It's fighting a bit different, this one. Want me to tail him, maybe? That's so. I didn't. I didn't want it to scare it. Just, uh... On the drop. Just letting it sink. Clunk. Shows you. Line tight the whole time. There he is. Oh, Miss Morn. That's Taylor. Yeah. It just felt different. Got him. You beauty. A little tail noise. Good. I want to contribute to the seafood basket, see? Don't think I'm going to cook it, mate. <laughs> I'm, You've already committed to that. Up. You've already You've got, committed to that, Taylor. Taylor. You beauty. Seafood basket's just looking better and better. Oh, come in, come in, come in. Good eating size too, these ones. Oh. Gonna get in the boat. There you go. In the oh, boat. Well done. Bravo. There's quite a good school of them there, I think, because I uh, I missed mine on the first, so I got two or three bites before I actually hooked one, so. And um, mine, I did absolutely nothing. It shows you the benefit of sometimes getting that metal down a bit deeper than just underneath that wash. Clunk, and away we go. And both of them ones were right up in the white water. Nice little pattern happening here. It is, it's good. Well done. There's a reason you often use ganged hooks and wire or slugs to chase the likes of Taylor. They've got a part of that razor gang brigade, the same, same as the mackerel and the wahoos, where all their teeth mesh together. So you definitely don't want to put your finger in there, but if a fishing line gets in there, it's over really quickly. So whenever you're chasing the likes of these, you've got to have that bite off protection somehow. This is all in that wash zone. I reckon we just pin here for a bit and sink them deep. We'll just bring them back through all this stuff. And then the DTXs are going to have a troll across this face. I reckon sounds like a great idea. There's, There's a lot of in. bait there. The bait's what makes me want to stay here. Got to do a um, troll? Yeah, I think so. I think we change tack now. We're throwing little slugs into the wash zones here, but. This is deep now off this front face, and there's lots of mid-water activity, so we're gonna throw out some deep divers, have a little troll up and down this face, see if we can drum up. We are wrapped. We've caught new species in the way of the tailor, which we can now add to our salty scrolls. But we need more species for our seafood basket, and trolling is a great way to cover ground and find out what's going on. We quickly locate lots of baits sounding off these headlands and decide to catch some of this bait and then get to work on a burly trail and sinking very lightly weighted baits out the back of the boat. That bait's been eaten. That bait's been eaten. That's a fish. It's definitely a fish. Definitely a fish. Nico, good work. Oh yeah. Burly is what we just starting to work, yep. Norge. Yep, it is. There's going to be a line in the way here, bit Nico. Oh, lose him. Yep. Yeah, good. They're in that wash. I'm casting away over there. That's two in a row. That's good, the burley's starting to work. Fish are starting to come to us. You know what they say about burley, Nige, the secret? What's that? A little bit often? A that little one? Be out of burley a little often. Oh! Here you go. I'll try and wash my hands and give you a hand here. Yeah, you're right. I want to find out what it is. Bit of a fin bump there. Bit of a fin bump? Getting fin bumps. That's what we like. I like fin bumps. I want to see what it is. So I'm do I. Desperate to see what this is. I'm very desperate to see what this is. Take your time. We don't want to lose this one. If I was at home, I'd know what I'd call this. But I'm not game just yet. You're right. I'm not going to say anything. Oh. Good. I'll get him. I'll get the net. I'll get the net. It's a lovely fish, Nigel. Oh. And uh, yeah. We spoke something earlier of a seafood basket. No seafood basket. Probably complete without a reef fish. We definitely need at least one demersal species. And that there, ticks that box. <laughs> I'm, very I'm so happy about that right now. I'm very yeah, happy you got him into the boat. Yeah, you're about to get on the yeah. right, you get him? That's the left hand of that one. You get him? Yeah. Cool. You can talk about my fish, I want to catch this. Well, sometimes really is a team sport, and that's basically what we're doing here. I've got the burly gun, I'm cutting baits up. Nigel's got all the rods ready, he's got them out, and he's been keeping busy trying to... Catch snapper. <laughs> catch snapper, so... I love snapper. Have you got another one on there, have you? There you go. Look at you go, like, you're a man of many talents. I've got rods going everywhere. And snappers. Couple of nice little snaps. Tell you what, 
clean snappers. And it's like we sort of collectively picked this spot, driving around, coming over that ledge. I looked at the, the marks and went, that looks like snapper, but you went, they're all coming off this current knowledge. If you go further up that way, if you get this little wash zone off this cliff, same time we'll probably attract those fish anyway, and I think you have. Now the spot to be. Again, it's team. We're a bit of brainstorming together. Either of us have ever fished this area before, so you know it's just nutting it out. We've got no marks. We're making it up as we go. We are. And I think we're not going too bad. See if Cu Couple of amateurs. Start looking right. <laughs> Fishing wash zones with bait at the moment. It's a case of finding a point with wash, which obviously gives shelter to fish, but also current flow moving past it. We've now got a burly trail going. We've got very fresh bait, which is a big key to the success of fishing places like this. And then it's all about replicating that burly trail. We've got a very light sinker. We're in 10, 11 metres of water at the moment. And we're cutting small strips of live bait that we're catching here and now. And then it's a case about bait presentation. You can either just pin it, or if you really want a little bit more bait security, come through again. That's lightly weighted. It's a relatively short shanked hook with a little bit of gape. And in this case, it's a, a 5.0. We've got plenty of hook exposure. It's lightly weighted. It's a case then of throwing it out Keep the line tight and let that ever so subtly slip down into the burly trail and hopefully attract attention of fish that are now coming to us. Here we go. Yep, that's a fish. Let him eat it, let him eat it, let him eat it. Let him eat, 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 eat. Get him. I got him. Oh, nice one too, Lodge. I got him. Well, just the other rod had a bit of a bump too. Did it? Yep. I'm watching it. Nice. You find snapper feeding, you can get frenzy. It's all hands on deck. I'm trying to get my sinker back. <laughs> I got sharp teeth. We've caught two species now in the way of Taylor and Snapper, but we want a trifecta, a new species to add to the mix, and that means changing tact. Our seafood basket bet was always based on the rules that if we catch three different species to eat, I would cook them three different ways. And right now, I'm pretty safe of avoiding a big cooking headache. So the burly trail might actually be taking the stuff elsewhere, if you know what I mean. Hey. The burly trail might have actually moved something yeah, somewhere starting, else. It's starting to almost fly back out that way, to be honest. So they might have. Just getting to the last dying stages of the tide now. The bait bite has definitely gone quiet. Pretty much the Norbley's coming now, so we're going to head back to the boat ramp. But, Nico, in the last dying effort to maybe catch a third species for our seafood basket, this little headland, some metal slugs, we just may be able to spin something up. We've got one last shot, I reckon, and otherwise we fail. I don't want to die wondering. We haven't we, failed, no, we've got two. We haven't failed. It's a pass mark. Uh, yeah. It's a pass mark. Three'd be nice. Three'd be. I like the sound of three. Perfection. There's a little wash zone. Yeah, I like too. it. I was just actually looking at that while you're talking. A bit of moving across these rocks here. Yeah, oh, cool. See that? Yeah, I did see that. There's a boil. Oh. Yep. Got him. You got one. Salmon. Ooh. It's fighting like a salmon. It's dogging a bit. Little salmon. Oh, I'd say it's probably a salmon, Norge. Well, it's been the the numbers of the <laughs> today. <laughs> if you want to go on odds. The colour. New yeah, silver. It's the third species we've this, on. This is, I hope, think it is. Is it? Is it? It's a Trevally. Is it? Stop it. It's not massive, <laughs> but I reckon it's legal. <laughs> They've got to be 30 centimetres here, in oh. South Wales. He's got to go. He's going to be very close. Oh, oh, there and he's only just hooked oh, too. Mate, third oh. species. What is he, legal? They've got to be, what, 30, 30 centimetres? 30 centimetres. Right what, it'd be here. 33, 32, 33? Is probably 34-ish. 34-ish? 34. My eyes aren't as calibrated as they used to be. <laughs> Seafood, basket, that's, trifecta. That's the trifecta. We want to, I, I can't remember, it's been a long time since I eaten one of these, but cold water trevally. Yeah, I've, I've, I've heard, on I've the never table. eaten one, but I've heard stories, so. Well, we can start thinking. This Now it's puffing. It is puffing. All is here, I think we get out of here. And on the way home to the ramp, we think about how we uh, cook fish three different hey, ways. You cook fish three I different cook. ways. You've already talked, spoken about it today. You talked yourself into doing it. There's your fish. You can bleed it and put it in the esky. I'll do that. I'll worry about how to cook it. All right, no drama. Then we get out of here. Okay, well too easy. Our offshore fishing session has come to an end with a win. We found some entertaining fishing options and caught three different species for our seafood basket. And all of them 
we can add to the salty scrolls. And the bigger upside, Nigel cooks me fish for dinner three different ways. 